Uh, but now let's do some Ghana Premier League as we like to do as always. Uh, let's begin with Kumasi, where Kotoko took on Accra Great Olympics. And it was their Cameroonian striker, Frank Etuga Mbella, who scored a brace to completely dismiss Great Olympics. 2 0 victory uh, they recorded in Kumasi. Take a look. All right, so Kotoko uh, getting uh, what looked like a very routine victory, really. And that Cameroonian striker, Frank Etuga, has now scored eight goals in the Ghana Premier League. His strike partner, uh, Ongba Enfege, has scored five. Uh, or four goals, I think. So, so the two of them really uh, are having such a season to remember. Incredible start for them. And they've shot Kotoko to the top of the Premier League table. Let's take um, another highlight, this time from Doma, where Ejiana Stars hosted Bichem United. It was a BA derby. And somehow, Bichem United nicked it by one goal to nil. All right, so Ejiana Stars defeated in Doma. Such a rare occurrence, but it's happened. And it came at the hands of Bicham United. Let's bring you one more match in the Ghana Premier League, this time between Hearts of Folk and Kim Faisal. Hearts of Folk reportedly have signed Sule Montari. Uh, he was at the stadium to watch them. They took on Kim Faisal, and they beat them by one goal to nil. Kim Faisal now struggling, if not won the game in their last five matches. So, take a look. All right, so just a one goal from Obin Jr., giving Hearts of Folk that one nil victory. Uh, let's show you the full results from the Ghana Premier League Week 15 now. So there you go. Kotoko's 2 0 win against Great Olympus confirmed. To Jena starts losing to Bichim. Brickham Chelsea got a 3 1 win against Lions. Lions just. <laughs> I'm not sure why they even bothered to come to the Ghana Premier League. They look caught on their way back already. Legon City's got a famous 3 0 win against 11 Wonders. Mediama also securing a win. R2U and Karela ended 1 0. Wafa beat. Uh, Bibiani Gold Stars, um, and then, of course, Ashanti Gold uh, also beating Dreams FC 2 1. Ashko have turned it around after Christopher Nimli lambasted them here a few weeks ago. Let me show you the table now. Uh, there you go. After uh, 15 match days, of course, Kotoko have played one game less, same as House of Oak, but the rest of the teams, 15 matches each. This is the standing. Kotoko have 33 points. Uh, that's seven points more than second place for Chem United. Uh, Midiama as well. Ejana Stars, 24 points. A further nine points behind, of course. And Hearts of Oak are uh, a mighty 10 points behind Kumasa Santokotoko. The bottom place teams, you see them there. The bottom three, 11. Uh, sorry, Amina Sharks, eight points this season. Uh, less points than games played. 11 Wonders, 15 points. Accra Lions, 16. And um, Bibiani Gold Stars just above them as well. So things not looking good for some things as far as the Premier League is concerned. All right, so that's the wrap. Chris, I don't know where you want to bite first, yeah, but uh, it gives you very good perspective on where the league stands halfway into the season. Well, two matches at the halfway point, yeah. but already it looks like the boys are separating themselves from... Exactly. Um, the man. I'll start from the Kotoko game. And uh, I watched the game. To be honest with you, the penalty was a very silly penalty to give away yeah. on the part of Accra Great Olympics. And that second goal again scored by Kotoko, in my view, could have been avoided. So I was asking myself, what actually was the problem? Until I listened to Anna Walker. Mm. And then I listened to him and I was like, wow. How could you do that? What stood out for you? Now, what he said in his interview was that every player that has been registered by Great Olympics is a player of Great Olympics. Now, he decided to make three changes, mm. believing that he needed three of the players to go in there and prove themselves to him. Mm. You don't prove, you don't ask players <laughs> to go and prove themselves because against Kotoko. against Kotoko. You don't do that. Put even your best if, foot forward. Even if you want to do that, not as starters. These are three players, and they've not been part of your game plan. They've not been in, an integral member or members of your team. Now, if you are going away to the league leaders, you show them some respect. That's true. As a manager, you yourself should realize that, look, this is not the sort of game that you want players to go and prove themselves to you. Players who haven't been playing throughout the season. You make three major changes to your setup. Yeah. 
And you can clearly feel from the way he was talking. It's like it wasn't his decision to make. The big men in the team mm. are pushing him to say, ah, but let the other players to play. So very smart on his part to prove to those big men that these boys are not ready. You go and throw them in such I a see. game. You don't do that if you are a man. Yeah. Look, that was what I got from his interview. And then the hats of a game. Look, like we just say, or like we've said all, all along, they've gotten to the stage where defending leagues, this particular league title, I believe sincerely that it is beyond them. Mm. It is Kotoko to lose. Between Kotoko and Hatsafog, like you rightly said, the gap is 10 points. Yep. There's an outstanding game between the two teams. Yep. Assuming Kotoko wins, that <laughs> makes it what? 13, 13 points. So That's Hatsafog, almost unassailable. Of course. Hatsafog will have to beat Kotoko. Even if they were to beat Kotoko, Kotoko still have a comfortable seven, seven points. Seven points is still league. big. It's yeah. still a huge margin. Yeah. That is three games. You are asking Kotoko to lose three games before you can what? Go and overtake them. Yeah. So I think they will have to keep doing what they are doing, keep playing well, keep winning football games, mm -hmm. and hope at this level, if you are to hope that thing will go your way, then surely it means your destiny is not in your own hands. And yeah. if your destiny is not in your own hands, you can only hope that at the end of the day you get something out of it. We hear the San Suleiman Tari. Do I agree with that? I don't think so. I don't think it may be for the sake of our of our football, Ghana football, maybe you want a very faithful son of the land, somebody who has completely saved this country when he was on his A game, yeah. to come back before hanging his boot completely to experience our league. If that is the reason why he's been brought on, surely I support that. Okay. But if I'm the manager, I ain't sign such a player. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, no, no, after a wonderful start, Kim Faisal have now lost each of their last four matches. In fact, they have the worst form at the all, moment. Yes, mm -hmm. at it's the moment. unbelievable. It's five in a row. Eh? I don't know, four in a row four now. In a row. Um, look, it's, it's sad, but I listened to their um, head coach's uh, post-match interview, and he made some very interesting points. He said his, he was working, or he is working with a very small group of right. um, players who he believes are up to their level. The rest of the guys, he says, they themselves know that they are not of the They're standard way of, of the Premier oh League. Boy. Um, fatigue has set in and he has to hope and he's in a hurry for the first half of the season to be over so they can um, get, make rest. Some, get some rest and make some transfers just to beef up the team. Um, and it, look, it's, it's not his fault. With a club like uh, Kim Faisal, very small budget, you can't get superstars and have the depth and quality like the rest of What's oh. going to be worse for them at the end of the first round is Kotoko recall Osman Ibrahim. That's, that's they another. Why they will. They, no, they, they will. They, they are. No, they will. They will. Should they? That's what it looks it. like because if they should. No, everything the points to it. Regard. That's, well, that's a discussion I've no, had. It's, 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 because they already have two Cameroonian strikers, eh? You they know? shouldn't. But it's, it's, it's sad from a Kim Faisal point of view. But look, it, it is what it is. What, is, what I'm, I'm happy about is that they were able to build themselves a a good lead yes. at the start of the season. So even though they are falling behind, um, they are not as close to the relegation zone as if yeah. they had started in this um, with this poor form. But from a heart of all point of view, yes, um, they got the win. It was very important. Coach has said, look, as it stands, all you can do is win football games and hope that Kotoko drop points. And people say it's just, we are still in the first half of the season. But mm -hmm. when you look at this Kotoko team, you look at the cohesion they are showing, you look at the tactical discipline they are showing, you really don't see where they are going to drop points. And a team that consistently keeps winning grows in confidence. And it's always going to be very difficult to beat a team like yeah. that. For, for Kotoko, Goja said it, and it's facts. It's, it's their league title to lose. Um, for the Suleiman Tari deal, um, look, I think if you bring a 37-year-old into your club, you're not necessarily bringing him on because of footballing reasons yeah. on the pitch. Um, you are talking about the motivation he can give, the sort of drive he can give to the group of players. And we saw the inexperience. We are seeing the inexperience in this um, Hearts of Oak team. Um, some people sort of mistaken this Hearts of Oak team as the same team as last season. There are some key changes that have happened, some key major, um, players, ones. major players who have left. So there's a lot of inexperience in this team. And yeah. I feel, um, if you listen to some of you after the game, he said it. They need that sort of presence in the, in the dressing room. Somebody who's been there, done that, just to give them the assurance. Because as it stands, look, 
a lot of the young players will you will not blame them if they've given up on their title assistance. You need that that player, that calm head in the dressing room just to let them know that it's still possible. Just win. You never know what will happen. You know, just for, keep on winning constantly. For, forgive my cynical self, but uh, you know, I, it's like he's thirty seven. He's mm -hmm. played at the highest level. He's won the Champions League. Exactly. He might as well just call it quit. Why is he coming to hearts of folk? That's what I said. That look, if it's about no, I'm even, he, not even talking about like the manager or house of food point of view. No, no, Maybe no. From a personal That's point of view. That's what I'm saying. Maybe as a player, you know, some of them during their heydays, they always said, I think. Because surely this is not about money. No, no, no. I heard that made all the money say, say that he yeah. would definitely play in our league before he said goodbye. I think I've heard Sule make that same statement. Yeah. This house of folk team uh, business of Sule coming has been. Yeah, yeah, it's been, been in the works for a while. That's it. He's trained with them previously. Two, yeah. two, three seasons ago, yeah. as if it was going to happen. Eventually, it's happened. That was, look, I'm sure as a player, he just wants to have a feel of our league and the way it's all about. So that he yeah. said, look, as a player, at least I played in the Ghana Premier League before I had my Interesting.